All right, the NBA has fined Draymond Green $50,000 for tampering. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Sorry for the air condition. It's a hot day out there. Day in the D, 90 degrees with humidity. Feel like a miniature Florida. But uh, let's talk about uh, Draymond getting suspended prior to the 1920 season, um, which is this ongoing season. They have stricken um, the tampering policy. And what Draymond Green did after Devin Booker hit a hell of a game winner over Paul George and Kawhi Leonard to beat the Clippers, and they got he got the Suns 4-0 or 5-0 in the bubble, Draymond Green said, we need to get Devin Booker out of Phoenix so he can win some games and basically be appreciated by the NBA. And I agree. All right? And he says, you know, I think Ernie asked him, what about getting him to uh, Golden State? He said, maybe, possibly. And it seemed a little petty. You know, Draymond not even playing. And, they, you know, he's still getting fined. I thought that was petty. And a lot of people in the league kind of been sour on tampering ever since LeBron, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade formed a super team. And even more sour once Kevin Durant joined the Golden State Warriors. So they've been trying to stop the tampering a little bit. And I think it was just petty. Um, I don't think he was trying to get Devin Booker to Golden State. Look who Golden State already got, Klay Thompson and Steph Curry. You know, Devin Booker is a guy that likes to control the ball, you know, facilitate a little bit, but he's a scorer. How would he fit over there with Wiggins and all of them? Even if they got with the Wiggins and, and Draymond, it just wouldn't fit. So I just felt it was it was it was petty. He wasn't even in the player role. He was more of an analyst role. And at the end of the day, the NBA don't want to be strict like that on the policy, but when you got thirty some GMs complaining and crying about tampering, you know, instead of sitting there and trying to find creative ways to get free agents to come there then you end up with this. So I'm not the biggest Draymond Green fan of late. Uh, obviously, he's a Spartan. I'm a Michigan fan. You can check my channel while I talk a little bit of Michigan basketball, a lot of Michigan football. I have more sports talk on YouTube if you're interested. But I still felt that was petty. Hella petty, petty, pe uh, petty by the league. He wasn't trying to recruit Devin Booker to the to the, uh, to the the Warriors. Not Even though Ernie asked him, somebody said, what about him to the uh, – well, he said, maybe. You know, so – you know, it is what it is, man. The NBA, they, they got to be strict. Um, but I think he made an honest comment, and we do need Devin Booker out of Phoenix. You know, Phoenix is one of those franchises that haven't put work for, forth the effort to really be successful. There's been talks about Phoenix moving to Las Vegas for the last shit for like 10 years now. All right? It's been talks about them moving and getting out of Phoenix and going to Las Vegas of late. And, you know, they've been winning in the bubble, and I think a lot of people don't know how good Devin Booker is for two reasons. Phoenix not winning. It's not a household franchise right now. And also with Phoenix, you know, they're on the West Coast. So you tend to get lost in the sauce playing on the West Coast because you're playing at 10, maybe 9.30 at the earliest, 10.30 at night on the East Coast, and people prepare to go to bed. So that's kind of been, you know, the NBA. should It should be the MO to get their biggest stars on the Eastern Conference. You know what I'm saying? That's why LeBron, you know, was so big because he played at 7.30, 7 o'clock, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That grew his brand. Most of the world could see him play, and it wasn't too late at night. So playing in the West Coast, it do hurt you, and it's hurt a lot of different guys over there. Of course, they're going to push the Lakers, you know what I'm saying? They're going to push the Rockets. they always going to be on, you know, on prominent, you know, time slots. But when they come to, like, Damian Lillard and, you know, outside the Warriors, too, outside, you know, De'Aaron Fox is underappreciated. You know, it's a lot of underappreciated stars out west, and it's, it's hard to get the East Coast people to stay up 10, 30, 11 when they got to be in work in the morning. But I just thought the, the tampering charges, you know, with the NBA with Draymond Green, I just thought it was petty. I thought I think they should have just called them, warned them on a little bit. But then again, they got to take all charges serious, and um, they tighten up the tamper. Especially, it's been a lot of talk about, you know, uh, super teams being formed in the bubble. And, and guys being able to, to be around each other almost 24-7 and be able to tag team up. And if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. And then you can't stop the rain like Shaq said. You can't. If, if guys want to sit there and they want to form a super team in a bubble and they want to put it together, that's their prerogative. And all, they want to keep the NBA competitive. But you look at Indiana with Paul George with them saying and Larry Bird co-signed it. They didn't want to spend the money to be a competitive franchise. So if somebody want to spend the money and go into the luxury tax and form a super team, should be their prerogative. But let me know what you think about the NBA suspending Draymond Green 50 racks. Racks on racks on racks. For comments on TNT made about Devin Booker, don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got any questions, business, acquired response, YouTube questions, or you just want to chop it up. 
my social media links in the description also we got a facebook group you want to join that check that out as well too want to make a donation cj good 313 is the cash app that's in the description also the paypal link in the description best way to uh, donate if you haven't subscribe bell icon button thumbs up comment but the best way to donate is to share the video one time for the one time and don't forget to check out our nba talk playlist for more videos like that this we gone